So from the time I was eight years old until I was 22, I traveled from New York to California by myself. My mom took off when I was about two, maybe three, and left. I was in New York with my dad and she worked her way across the country to California, started working for Amtrak. Then when I got about eight years old, my mom says, hey, you know, I can get family free tickets now. Blah, 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 send Shane out to see me. And so my dad would take me to Grand Central Station in New York City, and I'd get on the little train and go to Chicago. When I got to Chicago, I would have to get off of that train and go find the California Zephyr, the big train, and that was a cool train. Once you got on the California Zephyr, it was fun. And traveling from New York to Chicago, you'd go through graffiti and things, and then you got to Chicago and it kind of got a little bit better. Once you got on the California Zephyr, some guy, oftentimes a day later, or at least several hours later, because they were working, but one of the workers, like not like a flight attendant, but whatever you call that on trains, he would come by or she would come by, somebody would come by with a Polaroid. Like, oh, you look a lot older and bigger than you do in this picture, but I'll let your mom know you made it. And there was no cell phones back then, no pagers or anything, and so, somebody would wire somebody to the station and say hey call linda in in uh alameda and tell her that yeah shane is someone they, and then she would call my dad and say yeah he's somewhere between chicago and salt lake and then in salt lake the california zephyr would split into two halves it, the plane the train would get split and you would get off while the train was doing this and you could walk around for two hours but then you had to be back on the right half because one half would go become the Oregon Trail and the other half would stay as the California Zephyr. Somebody would come by often many hours later or a day later, oh, I'll let her know, I'll let your mom know. Are you Linda McElroy, son? Wow, you look different in this picture. Yep, I'll let him know. I'll let your mom know. They'd say, yeah, he's somewhere between Salt Lake City, Utah, and California. And then I'd get to California. I'd in get a quarter off mile, the turn left on the Canyons and my Resort mom Drive. Would be working, Signs for and Canyon I Resort would Drive. I'd immediately start helping old people with their luggage. I'd get some of the baggage carts and go out to the thing. And I did that for years from the time I was eight years old. And then back to New York. Uh, from the time I was eight years old until I was 22, I traveled the country by myself. And nowadays. I can't ask my kids to go across the street. Turn left onto Canyon. So it begs the question, you know, are we soft? And is that a good thing? Or is the world just so bad? Like, what, what do you think about that? What's your thoughts on that?